let's say you see this kind of a simple question in your chemistry jam exam how will you solve it it is very simple let us solve it together this particular question was a jam 2024 past question so it is very simple the question says h2s which is hydrogen sulfide reacting with chlorine gas to give us two moles of hcl which is hydrochloric acid plus one mole of sulfur in solid so now the question is what is the change in oxidation state of sulfur from reactant to product you can see the options right so here sulfur this is sulfur sulfur is s right so now they are asking us the change in oxidation state of sulfur from the reactant side to the product side so now sulfur at our reactant side is in h2s which is our hydrogen sulfide gas and at the product side it is our normal sulfur solid right so what we need to do is to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur at the reactant side and also the oxidation number of sulfur at the product side are you guys following me so now what are we going to do we need to calculate this in like we want to find the oxidation number of sulfur in this particular compound let's find for h2s first now one of the rules of valency tells us that the total oxidation state of a compound that is neutral is always equal to zero so the total oxidation state of h2s is equal to zero why because h2s is a neutral compound it does not have any charge when i say it is a neutral compound it does not have a plus or a minus sign you can see it does not have so this is a neutral compound right so now we all know that the oxidation state of hydrogen in h2s is always plus one that means one atom of hydrogen donated one electron to sulfur right so let me quickly explain we know that hydrogen has an atomic number of one so let us say this is hydrogen and it has one electron in its shell right the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one it will donate the one electron so let us calculate the oxidation state of sulfur so if the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one then we are going to have plus one into brackets times two why because we have two atoms of hydrogen then plus our sulfur we don't know the oxidation state of sulfur s everything is equal to zero so one times two is what two then two plus sulfur is equal to zero so how do we calculate for sulfur here all we just have to do is just to collect like terms by taking our two to this other side and then the positive side will become negative sign so we have something like s is equal to zero minus two right so the oxidation state of sulfur is zero minus two which is minus two so the oxidation state of sulfur at the reactant side in h2s is minus two right so now at our product side sulfur is standing on its own it's standing as a sulfur element or as a sulfur atom in sulfur solid and according to the law of valency any element or any atom that is standing on its own and does not have a charge you can see sulfur here it does not have a charge it does not have any positive or negative charge that means that the oxidation state is zero so we should know that an uncombined element that does not have any charge the oxidation state is always equal to zero so our answer is that sulfur moved from an oxidation state of minus two here in h2s to zero in sulfur solid so the answer is from minus two to zero that is option c i believe this is very simple to understand if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one peace out